Hello everyone, welcome back to another side quest of Cyberpunk and I'm gonna show you the message of this one because this is an interesting one. Uh, this is the storyline of Panem. Uh, it says the great nomad saga continues Panem's up to something that girl just doesn't know when to quit and my god I love her for it. So that's one thing. I've already made a move on her if you haven't seen the previous episode so yeah you don't need you don't seem to know either considering you want to go back out there maybe you could save us all some time pitch a tent out in there and that's the line that also is interesting I think we both know this isn't just about the job anymore so yeah I'm still waiting to see if Pan Am is gonna loosen up and respond with a move what is she doing here I Helping even your ass? Convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Ah, oh, it seems a lot changed while I was away. No, nothing has changed at all. Let's go down. Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Hmm. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. Hmm. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country. Somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Hmm. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time for the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. Your family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Um, remember when you told me to give you a good kick in the pants? What? V? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Not what I heard. Without you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Okay, so that corpo wants to carry something right in the middle of the desert, which is these guys' land, sort of, and I think they're just gonna Shut steal it. that thing. You plan to grab the basilisk, huh? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Okay. Why are there so many ash trees in these game? So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. 
Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Okay. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Okay, these are the people, these are the four, I think. Right? Did you right. try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit hmm. Saul likes to tack on. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna okay. help you. I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Uh, I'm riding, riding with, you. with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Yeah, that way I can skip the ride if I <laughs> see there's nothing interesting happening, happening halfway through. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Okay. Why is this car so dark that I can never see Pan Am inside this car? Hmm. What's going Let's on? Go. You're the driver. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. I think she's talking about Jackie. A true friend. Yep. Jackie by name. You would have liked him actually. Jackie. Do you see that do you sense that like sadness in her voice when she talks about Jackie? Like that's what makes these games great. Just those tiny details. Okay. We we're here. Didn't need to skip anything. What shake night city? Your man Stan here. Got a Sorry, Stan. We gotta go. Big bastard. I like it so much. Maybe we should just hijack the train. <laughs> Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah. Then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Sounds plan to move the engine. Plan to move huh? this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. 
Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Sounds good. Seems that we're not going to be needing guns. Let's get going. Okay. Okay. I'm going to loot this place because I'm hoping to get some ammo. There's definitely going to be some fights here. So if I can get some ammo, I will get that. Wait, I didn't notice any changes. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Talk to the nomads. Okay, here we are. Did not do that. Okay. Carol, what are we looking for? What cards? Would you help me look? I am sure looking. Thing. There it is. No, it's not. Two messages. New threat level. High alert. And some random stuff. Files. Again. Would you shut up, honey? I am looking. Sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Hey, let me have that gun. That's a rare gun. Hell, this game. Not a. Okay. Whoa, look at that hole. Okay, nothing interesting here, I guess. Get a uh, get back here. Not here. Nothing here. What is it that you're trying to scan in here? Find a punch card. You need this one, really? Locomotive controls. Okay, that's going to be used later. Ah, look at that. Hmm. Well, well, well. Found him. Got something. Good job.
Why do I have a feeling that this is the reader? Here goes nothing. Awesome. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Sure. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's rejoin the others. Okay, I think that option might have triggered something. Dude, I've been waiting so long for Pan Am to become a romance yes. option. Checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Can you run faster, baby? Nope, she's not going any faster. So bright. V, do you know where Panam is? <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna lie to him. For crying out loud, don't care what's going on between you two. I'm just asking. Can you give me a straight answer? When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. This is gonna be a shit show. I can feel it. The seven of us going behind Saul's back. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Oh. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Hmm. The mocks want to take over. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. No, someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Okay. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Oh. Sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? <laughs> oh my god. Sure. Guess I can work with that? Okay. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. 
How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Okay, we got an interesting side quest. Sorry for the disruption. Hmm. You worried about Saul? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, wow. Really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. Scorpion. No. Oh. That was nice of you to drink to Jackie. Let's see again, another small thing in the conversation. It's really interesting. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Can't tell you won't be getting any sleep. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? What? We're I'll just looking lie at here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library too? <laughs> of course, that's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. What? Good night, B. Good night, hun. Okay, here they come. Here Are they come. Let's ride, B. Another malfunction? Come on! Clear... Okay. So I got... Okay, I'm gonna reply to that later. Not gonna get into that right now. Hey, which side am I? Get in the vehicle. Get in, let's go, let's go, let's go! Uh, I don't think it was... Let me know if you have seen anything that would let you just skip this mission and what would happen. Because, like, this is a kind of a main side quest, like, this storyline connected to Pan Am, because she's a main character, it's not a Get her up to speed. one time mission. We I mean, may. A few characters, you just see them once, you do one mission, and that's it. But with Panna, we have had a few missions, so she could have different endings. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. On top of one of the cars. And I have a on. feeling one of them might end up killing her. Take out that what am I doing? Sorry. Shoot the train car coupler. Is it this one? Hell yeah! All right. Surround them as soon as they're cut off.
Okay, I think they tried to make the train go faster so they would reach this guys and bang. Can I start shooting? They will regret this. Four, no, five vehicles. No, 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 right. Can I please get out of the car? I'm like too much visible. Would you die already? Holy shit, I'm stuck. Did not mean to do that, but it's okay. Oh, damn it. And he just consumed something. Okay. Let, show me your pretty face. Show me your ugly face. Show me something, you idiot. Headshot. All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, are we just going? No ammo? No ammo? Seriously? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Escort the truck to the nomads camp. Oh, we're going back home? Oh, Saul is gonna be super pissed at us. And people are gonna attack us. Don't get too excited. Just as I said it would. Don't get too excited. People are gonna be on our asses. I'm definitely gonna be attacking this. Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. Okay, it says skip right, so nothing's gonna happen to us. Oh, Saul is gonna be so pissed at us. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. You sure, honey? Where is Saul? Meet with Saul. Who? He <laughs> hello. Uh oh, I'm backing up. I'm just gonna. How are you? You know how it is. What's the meaning of this? Precisely. Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant no, Militech no. logos on them. Don't worry. Fuck Pan Am. You can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment, and now we have Militech to worry about too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but 
And what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Okay. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Alright. That's another side quest related to Pan Am. And for the next one, we'll probably go back to Judy because she's an interesting character to me. New job, Queen of the Highway. What is that supposed to mean? Leave the camp and wait a day until the basilisk is ready. So I'm gonna just wait a day and continue this side quest until we get to Judy. But it's gonna be a story for another episode. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Any help would be much appreciated and definitely hit the bell icon so you get notified of the next videos. Anyway, until next one, take care.